welcome to another TD comparison video. To export files from SOLIDWORKS to Unreal Engine, we can make use of Datasmith export plugin. We can see that the plugin is available directly on the Unreal Engine website and we have the possibility to download the SOLIDWORKS exporter. Currently, the plugin works with versions from 2020 up to 2023, but it is important to specify the version for Unreal Engine that you want to install. In my case, I'm using Unreal Engine 5.2, so we can just download the plugin. I already have it installed, so after you download it, you're gonna have that installed. Within SOLIDWORKS, you're going to have the possibility to enable the plugin. We see over here Datasmith. If you go up to Tools, after that, we're going to go to Add-ins. But before I can do that, I need to finish this uh, test part. So this is a configuration component from the design library. Uh, this is a power chain. So we see a power transmission, a chain wheel and the short pitch roll chain. The nominal um, shaft diameter, so this is the smallest one, will be 4. And what is most important is that um, Unreal Engine will uh, import from SOLIDWORKS at uh, the true scale, so 1, one to 1. I will have the part created. As you can see, there are some uh, visual um, bugs regarding the visualization. This happens uh, in some cases. If I'm going to swap the model to be uh, again shaded and after that only within shaded with edges, the object will not be visible. So regarding Datasmith, how we can enable it in solid. If you go up to tools, add-ins, by default when you uh, have the plugin installed, it will be checked to start as soon as SOLIDWORKS will start. So in this case, it will have this startup check. If you only want to activate it uh, once, you don't have, uh, you don't want to have that enabled all the time. You can just uh, click over here to activate the plugin. So with the plugin activated, we can jump uh, within Unreal Engine's. Uh, Scene. In this case, I have the starter map open. In order to make the connection, we're going to go over here to quickly add to project. We're going to have the Datasmith plugin importer. If you don't have this enabled, you can go up to edit. We can go up to plugins. And over here, we're going to search for Datasmith we're going to see the Datasmith uh, CAD importer. We have Cinema 4D importer, but there's also Datasmith content, so this will be the plugin required. We see that all the plugins are uh, created by Epic Games. There is also a Datasmith CAD importer that we are going to talk in a different video. But for now, let's check this uh, Datasmith um, importer. So if I go over here, Datasmith direct link import, we're going to see that within the plugin, we're going to have the process. So in this case, will be SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS 2021. We see the source part. So in this case, will be chain wheel, um, that model that is currently open within SOLIDWORKS and we have the possibility to have that selected. We're going to see that we have an import error. If I'm going to go to the output, we're going to see that uh, we have this message could not be loaded, nothing to synchronize. Make sure to do a direct link uh, sync in your exporter. So in this case, I need to synchronize SOLIDWORKS to Unreal Engine by clicking the synchronize button and after that I'm gonna um, redo the same uh, steps so direct link import the same chain will have that selected and we see that now the plugin 
manage to to start the import uh, of that part we just have to select a folder in this case i will choose to add the objects to the props folder within the starter content and after that we're gonna have the data smith import option so in this case we see that only geometry and material and texture are checked these are the last settings that uh, i used we can also import lights cameras and animation from solidworks if you're gonna have the lights checked we're gonna have this section so regarding the environment so the lighting within unreal will also change because we're gonna import some lights as well for this case study i will just select uh, the geometry and the material for the geometry we're gonna see that the model will be tessellated in order to convert the nerves 3d model from solidworks to a polygonal mesh within um, within unreal so i'll click on import and i see that the model has been added so within the starter map the object will be positioned over here so this will be the zero zero location for this scene if i'm gonna press f i'm gonna be able to to zoom on that but currently the chain wheel is quite small so it only had um, that middle dimension of um, of four if i will jump back over here i will have this scaled for example maybe up to 20 and now if i'm gonna reframe the object and bring it within the scene i see that the model is still not big enough so we have the model scaled but the model is still not visible i'm gonna scale this some more to see if there are some some problems and i see that the model didn't import it correctly so i'm just gonna have the chain wheel deleted also this one this is from a previous um, file import that I did before I started this uh, recording actually I re pre-recorded this but I didn't start my microphone so let's take a look at this this model I'm gonna jump back to to solidors I will synchronize this again and within Unreal Engine we're gonna see that we have that update we have the details for this so in this case we only have the static mesh for that open i'm gonna save that and i'm gonna drag and drop the object again and as as soon as i will grab that i will see that it will have the shape of a sphere but once um, i let go of the uh, of the mouse the object should be updated so in this case the object should be visible but still i i see that there are some problem with the um, the importer i will just recreate a new part and see if that will uh, will fix it so in order to troubleshoot this so for the same part i will create a part This will be the part I'm gonna go to window and the part will be this uh, ISO wheel I will synchronize it again and let's go again data smith directly link import the source will be the currently open file so that will be that I'm gonna add the um, the model in a different folder maybe this is a problem since before i start the initial video and i didn't hit the record button the part had the same name so maybe there are some overlaps on that that name so i'm just gonna position the model over here within materials have that imported and we see that uh, now the object has been properly loaded so mainly that issue was because um, because of the file name 
but there is also a clipping plane so if i'm gonna move really close to to the chain wheel i'm gonna see that the clipping plane will uh, will clip the model so i'm gonna have that that model selected so this will be this is the the leftover and this will be the model if i'm gonna press f the camera will be focused on that so in this case i will scale this 20 times after that i will drag the gear over here and we're gonna see that if i'm gonna drag the gear outside we're gonna take a look at the, at the object so currently if you want to take a look uh, over here within uh, geometry we have the geometry of that model but we also have the material so the material currently has this uh, satin finish stainless material for the part there is no specified material within um, within solidworks but if for example i will go over here configure and I will choose something differently like copper I will apply I will see that within solidworks the model has been uh, updated so regarding the material I will click on the synchronize button and as soon as I will go back to Unreal Engine I'm gonna see that the, um, the material will also be updated so in this case we're gonna see that the material has um, this polish copper material we also have the possibility to um, to change that so this will be the material if i'm gonna double click you're gonna have some um, some options in this case uh, we can change the metallic amount so maybe if you don't want to have um, so many reflections we can adjust that we can also add a roughness map for this and we can increase the roughness amount up to a maximum value of uh, of two afterwards if i'm gonna go back we're gonna see that the model texture will be again updated and for other material as well for example if you want something um, like a acrylic plastic I'm gonna go over here for plastic and I'm gonna search for acrylic uh, medium high impact. I'm gonna have that applied on the model. We see that the shaded with edges is no longer bugged within uh, solidors for visualization. But if I'm gonna go back within Unreal Engine, I'm gonna say the model was not updated so we still have to synchronize that and only afterwards jump within Unreal Engine and now we see that we have that material if you want to position the, um, the object within the scene we can use the move tool but if you want to go with the object up to the floor we can press the end and can that will position the model so we see that the top edge of this um, this element will be positioned to the next surface so for example if i want to position this on the table i can just position it uh, above the table after that press end and again the object will be snapped to that location so up to the middle of the of that profile so as I said before, the main advantage is that the objects will be brought at a one-to-one -one scale. For example, if I'm going to jump over here and I will create a new part. So this will be part two. I'm going to go in the front plane and I will rapidly define a one meter box. After that, have this extruded on the for the same amount so 1000 again within solidors uh, 2021 we have this visual bug if we are on um, shaded with edges and we have the data smith plug enable the model will not be properly rendered 
After that, I will go to Datasmith, I will click on Synchronize, and we're going to see that within Unreal Engine, if I will go again to Datasmith, Direct Import, the less synchronized object will be part 2, so this will be the newly defined cube that I can select, I can add, I will position this as well within the materials, only bring in the geometry and materials and textures, and we're gonna have that one meter cube added to the scene. So if I'm gonna press the end key again, I can have this snap to the grid. And the same workflow for this, so for example, if you want to use something like um, wooden texture, we're gonna see that SOLIDWORKS uses some um, some photos for this. For example, we have this maple texture. Again, I'm gonna synchronize that. And we're gonna have the same um, texture added to Unreal. There are some difference uh, because of the lighting within the scene. If I will bring this somewhere where there is a little bit of shade, we're gonna see that that will be that material. And we can also find the material within uh, within the part. So this will be polished polished maple. This will be the that image that uh, was directly brought from SOLIDWORKS to Unreal Engine. It's not the best uh, resolution as we can see, um, the dimension of the photo, so it's, it's roughly around two, 2 megabytes. Okay, so I see that this video is already 17 minutes, so I hope you find this, uh, this video useful. If you have some uh, objects to, to transfer directly from SOLIDWORKS, you can make use of this, um, this plugin. So the SOLIDWORKS exporter, the Datasmith plugin for Arin Engine. Okay, so thanks for watching.